Hello everybody and welcome back to my Melvor Idol Hardcore Combat Only Speedrun Mode. Today I finally gathered up enough Mage God Gear to build the full kit. I leveled up uh, over time. I've got ranged up to 105 just because of how long it took to get all the gear. And Magic's 85 because I just, as soon as I hit Magic 85, I went to go grinding the God Dungeon to get all the gear. Right now I've got the full kit, Silver Diamond Ring, Dragonfire Shield, Elite Amulet of Magic, and a Magic Elite Magic Wand. And we're going to go in, uh, let me turn on prayers first, I probably want Stone Skin. And then just whatever the best magic one I have is which is augury and we're just gonna go try to clear the earth god dungeon should be pretty easy i've got more than twenty thousand accuracy rating so i should have that 100 percent oh i don't got no damn ancient runes okay what's the best i can do then i guess it would be the whatever the death one is wind blast so I'm, this is gonna be real slow then that's quite annoying but yeah we're just gonna slowly go through this this shouldn't be too big of a deal um, and then once I get the Earth God gear, I can immediately throw it on because my attack and defense are more than high enough to accommodate for the God gear. Uh, magic just was below. You can also see I left prayer on for a while, so I've got prayer up to level 99 now. So I've got all the base game prayers unlocked up to Battle Heart, which is really nice. Hopefully this time I won't die and we can actually go do the Impending Darkness event, which I should be able to do. Um, Fire God Dungeon is going to be a little scary just because of the difficulty that comes from having to swap between all of my classes, especially since everything is like 500% faster. Yeah, I should just be able to slowly get through this and I'll let you guys know when I'm out the other side. Okay, we're about to be on the final boss now, clearing out the fourth floor on the last enemy. There we go, onto the boss. Should be all good. My auto eat threshold is really high, so yeah, I'm fine. Could probably honestly turn stone skin off to turn on mystic might or something, make this go a little faster. All right, he's just about dead now. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this. Uh, get enough earth shards to go ahead and construct that up into the chest. Okay, now I can open up the scroll. Got the gloves, part for the course there. Throw those on. I'll go ahead and upgrade this. Open her up. Got some coal, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell all this stuff that I got. I also have a bunch of the water ones I haven't upgraded, so we can do that as well. Upgrade all. Open them up. Samey stuff. I got a warlock ring. I don't really care. Uh, that'll be good for later when I can upgrade it. I also got some ancient runes, which is kind of nice. Next thing I can kind of see us doing today is doing the infernal stronghold. Now that I have magic so high geared. Um, I should just be able to chill and get through this really fast. This should not be a problem at all. And I'm going to have to clear this a bunch of times. I think I do already have a dragon claw. Yeah, I do. So if I can just go ahead and clear this 10 times, then I can get the infernal claw done for melee. That'll be a big, big power spike. Might swap over to slicing wounds for this guy because my chance to hit is pretty low. So this will go through some of our ancient runes we got, but... It's worth it, I think. I'll just swap back over to the uh, Wind Blast whenever this guy dies for the 10 clears. Okay, that's the first clear done. I can go ahead and throw on that first Infernal Cape onto my magic. A little bit of extra DR, we take those all the time. Also get extra attack bonuses and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just going to clear this 10 times. I'll get back to you once I have all the Infernal Cores I need. Alright, I just finished it clearing it enough times. I'm going to unequip the Ancient Claws. Then I can upgrade these into the Infernal Claw. And this is going to last me up until uh, I get like the title edge and stuff like that. Which I will probably end up doing before I do impending darkness. For now though, my goal right now is just to gear up melee by clearing the earth god dungeon a bunch of times. Uh, and then try and do the fire god dungeon. It's going to be slow just because of the lack of runes. But it should be fine. I might just try and uh, grind up some slayer coins for now. So that I can get some more bolts for crossbows. But yeah, not much to talk about here. Everything's pretty simple since it's all revolving around combat. Uh, feel free to go check out my Ancient Relic series that's still going on, and I'm about to reach the end of that. Uh, I've been doing that series for about four months now. I've been Captain Blood Mode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes, and I'll see you next time. Peace.